Look at the gravels on Owen Beach. The rocks are a mix of black, gray, and white colored rocks. Nature breaks apart whole sized rocks into sand sized grains. When tumbled by waves and tidal currents, the beach gravels break and abrade into smaller pieces. The gravels progressively wear down into sand sized particles. It's quite simple. A black color rock will break apart into black color sand. Gray color rocks break into gray color sand. White color rocks makes white color sand. Then the waves and currents mix the various sand colors together. But if a rock on a beach contains both black and white colors, such as a granitic rock, the process is the same. The black and white components of the granite rock will break down into both black and white sand grains. This Owen Beach sand consists of sand from three major sources. The first major source is ancient sands that are eroded from the slopes above the beach. Most of these originate from the northeastern Olympic Mountains, the North Cascades, and southwestern British Columbia, Canada. The second major sand source is volcanic rocks from Mount Rainier. The Puyallup River enters Puget Sound at Tacoma. It includes the White River tributary water. Compare the color of rocks from the Puyallup River with the color variety of Puyallup River sand. The rock colors of gray, red, tan, and green match the same colors in the sand. Note that navigational structures at today's port of Tacoma probably limit the amount of Puyallup River sand from reaching Owen Beach today. The third source of sand at Owen Beach originates from molten slag from the former Osarco smelter. The smelter was closed in 1985, but black slag rock had been dumped into Puget Sound starting in 1917. The smelting process involved melting the ore rock. After recovering the copper and the gold, the molten waste material was moved into slag pots. Then the molten waste was dumped into Puget Sound. This material quickly hardened into waste slag. Additionally, sandblasting sand was made from the slag, which was dredged from Puget Sound. Note the reddish purple and black color sand on the beach. Driftwood near the shore can abruptly stop wave movement. When moving water suddenly stops, the sand moving within the water drops promptly upon the beach. The sand may then become sorted by subtle differences in density. The black color sand has the highest density. The black sand contains magnetite and hematite minerals and potentially some slag. When the mill operated, people reportedly used to pan nearby beaches for gold, hoping to find traces of gold that the smelter missed. However, the Osarco smelter has been closed for over 40 years. Nobody pans the beaches for gold now. The reddish purple color sand reportedly is garnet. Again, the sand in the picture is refined sand to concentrate as much of the colored sand as possible. 